as promised. <laughs> How was your weekend? Oh, it was so much fun. It was it was great. I, I had a really good time. You know, it was kind of like being back in the island. Just... <sighs> How's June? Oh, it's good. You know, I can't discuss that with you. So is she doing better? Oh, so there's some sort of like progress there. There's, there's not for, oh, right, right, right. Sorry, you can't, you can't talk about it. Sorry. Ooh. Maybe you should think. I will. I will. Thank you again for doing this for me for taking my kids. If it will put your mind at ease, yes, you're still okay. Good. What do you know about where Amanda gets this money? Well, there's Gary Pharmaceuticals, Gary Enterprises, and uh, Jenny Company. No, I, I, from the beginning, where it started. Well, that my boy, your uncle and your father will let you know when the time is right. Oh, well, I think that the time is now. Well, I am. It's not just me. You know, there's Adrian, there's Samaj, Taj Lee. Father and my uncle think they can protect us by lying to us and keeping us in the dark. But your uncle and your father have the reasons. Really? Yes. Why? Well, I suppose. So. Okay, well, how much do you know about our family history? Our real family history? How much do you know about the woman from the sea? Well. Saunders and I will be conducting your test today. Now, before we begin, I just have some survey questions that I need to ask you. How long is it going to take? Not very long, I promise. First time? Something like that. Is there a particular reason why you're taking the test today? For insurance purposes, anxiety about lifestyle, or did someone force you to take the test? No. You just want to know? Yes. Have you been involved in any high-risk sexual practices, such as vaginal or anal intercourse, with more than one sexual partner, without the use of a condom? Yes, I have. Vaginal or anal intercourse? Anal. In the case of anal sex, was it anal receptive or anal insertive sex? Both. Did you have sex with a sex worker without the use of a condom? You mean a, a prostitute? Have you ever had sex with a prostitute? Well, I am a... Yeah, I guess I am a sex worker.
No, no, look, it, it happened, okay? I'm, I'm sure of it. I saw her, I know that she saved our lives. Yeah, I was there, I was on the beach, and I saw her carry Julian to the shore. I was there, I was, I was right there. It's, it, this isn't the sort of thing you just make up, okay? It, it happened. It really happened. Have you shared this with anyone? No. Not even Julian? No, not even Julian. What does she look like? Destroy the file you have on me. I, I know. I've seen it. I've seen I it. Okay. But I strongly advise that you continue the sessions. If not with me, with someone else. No more shrinks. So no, no, no more shrinks. We'll keep talking, like we always have, but. Not as my doctor. How would you feel if the tests were to be negative, but you were advised to be tested again because you were still in the window period? I would be relieved, I guess. What would your reactions and feelings be to a positive test? I'm still working on that. I don't know. I honestly can't answer that. Would a positive test change your life? How? Yes, how? I mean, this is HIV we're talking about. It's not just the flu. Do you intend to tell others if you test positive? Because I have to wait and see. You do have at least one person you can tell, right? I think so. And who would that be? My friend, Peter. How would Peter react? He would be mad at first. Angry, even. It would probably make some stupid joke in him. And try to make me laugh. Make me feel better. How do you feel about a disease that requires a lot of care 
lifestyle changes, commitment, and discipline. A positive HIV antibody test result is always confirmed with a second test, and the reliability of test results is usually high. Just saying that it's the truth. I never want you to feel like you're alone. You don't even know me. So, I mean, why are you so determined to help me? I have not been a good person. Things happen for a reason. I believe that. something for you. I think that it could help with your... No. I can't. I, I insist. Look, I just think of it as a loan, okay? You can always pay me back. I will 
pay you back. I should probably get ready for work. I'll walk you up. Sit on this chair right here. I think it'll be best if I just stand here. I guess my next question should be, um, how are you? I'm fine. You should go home. You shouldn't be here. You should get some sleep and forget you ever saw this. How long have you been here? <sighs> Don't do this. Don't do this. Do what? Everyone thinks you're on vacation. Well, in a way, I kind of am. That's not funny. You know, Tiffany's friend is right down the hall. I was visiting her when I saw Uncle Taj Lee leaving this room. I asked him not to say anything to her. Should I be concerned? No, you should just go home. I want to be with you. Mark, don't be ridiculous. Just go. Do mom and dad know? No, and that's how I want it. That's how you want it. That's how you want it? I'm sorry, you don't get... You don't get to decide. You are in a freaking hospital. I know. Really? Because I don't think you do. No one can know about this. No one can know about this. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Mark. It's okay to be scared. But everything's gonna be fine. It will be alright. No one in the family knew what he was going through. And then he took it upon himself and decided what was right for the rest of us. He had his reasons. No, he had cancer, Julian. Cancer. You don't lie to the people you're supposed to love about that kind of thing. No. No. No one has that right. So you want me to throw a party? We'll make a dinner. It's a party. Okay, fine, then a party. 